My name is Adam. Um, I'm married to Jana. We have four beautiful kids together, Christian, Kylie, Caden, and Chloe. Um, I really, really wanted to name Chloe Kamir. That way I could just say Christian, Kylie, Caden, Kamir. And of course the dog, his name is Jedi. He is beautiful and dumb at the same time. He likes to swim and chase sticks. There is a cat involved in the family. Um, the kids love the cat. I dislike the cat a lot. I let it live. I grew up in remote southeast Alaska. My mom and dad were first generation Christians and my dad was a logger. I grew up in uh, logging camps. There were no churches, there was not anything like that that could influence me or give me any idea of what church in the real world was like. I really remember a significant moment in my life. Uh, I was probably about 10 years old, laying uh, one night in my front yard. There was about three feet of snow on the ground and I was just laying on my back in the snow. There's no lights, there's no street lights, there's nothing. There's just an incredible, brilliant sky full of stars. And I remember laying there and just thinking about God and talking to Him in my mind. I just started singing songs because I felt joy in my heart. I felt a need to worship God in my heart. And that is a, a moment that I will never forget because I really feel like that was a time when I connected with God and I started to uh, lift my voice and lift my heart and, and lift Him up above myself. Uh, it was an incredible moment of recognition, realizing that God is so much bigger than I am, and He desires my praise, He desires my songs, He desires my worship. I always knew that I wanted to do what God wanted me to do, and I always knew that I had music uh, in my heart, but I never really connected the dots in terms of how I use that music to, to be missional for God until uh, in high school, mom and dad moved us to Oregon, uh, which was my first real experience with civilization. And uh, we started going to a church there, and um, it didn't take long for me uh, to realize that the things that God had been planting in my heart, the seeds uh, with music and just the desire to please Him and to worship, um, were about to get more useful than I ever really could have imagined. I think that when people come together and they lift their voices and their hearts and they worship God, God will be glorified and lives will be changed. And that's why I do what I do. That's why there's a recording studio in my house. That's why I faithfully go to my church and I take the stage every Sunday and I lead worship. I don't just sing songs. It's more than that. I don't want to put on a show. I desire for God to be glorified and I desire for people to join me in doing that. When we come to the crossing, even though I grew up in remote Alaska, I know that Las Vegas can feel remote at times. But what an incredible opportunity we have, even in our loneliness, to embrace God, to sing songs, which by the way, I believe to be one of the most manliest things that any man can do. The best way any man could lead his family is to lift his voice and worship God and let them hear it. I believe that when we do that, the world will hear and they will know God.